How's it going guys, Zappy here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up your G920 or G29 Logitech racing wheel on PC. So this is obviously only going to be for PC because I'm not sure how you calibrate it on PlayStation and Xbox, what you can do on there. But this is for PC guys and this works for both the G920 and the G29. So if you have either of these wheels, it should work. If you guys are wondering how to calibrate the brake because it's a little bit too stiff, I'll teach you that in this video, what programs to download, everything like that, to know that you're getting your, your wheel set up properly, and you should be good to go after this video. Again, you can make adjustments in each and every different game, depending on what you're doing, but this would be at least a base setup for someone who's brand new to having this wheel. I just got this wheel myself like a week or so ago, so I, I had a little bit of trouble at first setting it up figuring out what I kind of liked and whatnot. So I figured I'd make a quick video on it. If you're new to sim racing or racing in general, you just got a wheel. This is how you set it up on PC. There's two different softwares you can use. You can use the new Logitech G Hub. The reason why I don't use this is because it actually doesn't detect my mouse. So I went back to Logitech gaming software, but if you want to give this a try, feel free to go ahead. I'll throw the link to both of these down in the description, but this is the one I use, the Logitech gaming software. Now, when you come to this site here, it's going to auto detect your OS. Just go to show all downloads, click on Windows 10, and now keep an eye on the software version here. This is something that I really don't get with the site, but it actually gives you an older version of the software. So I had to scroll down a little bit and grab the 64-bit .02.65 version here. And this will work, guys. This is the version you want here. So scroll down a little bit, grab that one, download that, install that, and you should be good to go. Logitech gaming software here guys it should look something like this you can see here I got my mouse here I got my webcam and I do have my racing wheel so this is going to work with all your Logitech devices but if you're going to want to change certain settings inside the wheel you're going to click this wheel down here and now you can see you can see all these buttons and stuff I do have an iRacing profile it automatically sets it up but if you're wondering how to change the centering force feedback and stuff like that just right click on the steering wheel here go into axis properties and you can see here, I have my sensitivity at 50, the wheel operating range at 900. Now, I don't have centering spring enabled. Uh, I did some Googling and people recommended to turn that off. So I just have that completely turned off. But this is where you're going to change your operating degrees. Now, for say, iRacing, I like to use 900. In F1, I use 360. So it kind of just depends on what game you're going to be playing and what you want to use it for. But that's how you change it here. Now, on the older version of this software, I actually didn't have these options here. I only had sensitivity. So that's why I went with the newer version. If you don't have that, that is why you're missing these settings. So go in there, set that to whatever you want. Again, I recommend just getting rid of centering spring in force feedback games. That's what Google seems to tell me. And that's just kind of what I've gotten used to. Again, if you want to use it, it I think it defaults at 10%. That should be okay too. But it's really up to you guys there. Go to your search bar, type in USB game controllers, and you'll see it pop up. Set up USB game controllers. You can click that. You can also just go to the control panel and go to the devices. And grab it from there if you would like but basically all you're gonna do is grab that and you're gonna go into properties here I'll bring this over so you guys can kind of see here now this is where mine is calibrated already I'm gonna recalibrate it so you guys kind of get a feel for it but you can see here if I step on the accelerator it goes all the way down if I step on the brake it goes all the way down and if I go on the clutch it goes all the way down and you can also press the other buttons and see them light up and then I got the wheel access there kind of show you that it does move now, if you're doing this for the first time and you have the G920 or the G29, the brake is very stiff. The brake is very stiff. So I have mine calibrated um, so I don't have to push down as hard. And this is something you guys are going to have to mess with. So let's just go ahead here, reset this to default, and click calibrate. You don't have to click uh, reset the default if this is your first time plugging it in. So it's going to say find the center point in the wheel and keep your feet off the pedals and press a button. So I'll just press a button. Now for the axis calibration, you're going to want to turn the wheel all the way to the right and then all the way to the left. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do here. And you can see it is moving the axis, um, the little plus thing over there. And this is just going to calibrate the wheel and it's going to reset to the center like so. Hit next. Now it's going to say move the accelerator all the way down, up and down. So I'll move it all the way up and down. That one's nice and easy. Now for the brake, the, the way you want to do this is push the brake down as far as you ever want to have to push the brake down. So this is going to help with the sticky slash stiff pedal problems. So you can see here, say I want to only push the brake down that hard. I'm going to let go, click next, and then do the same for the clutch. Push it all the way down and let go. 
and then you're going to save your calibration. Now, the reason why I did that with the sticky, with the, the, the brake is because it is very hard to push down. So now, instead of me having to like fully push down and move my chair back and stuff, I just got to hit it relatively hard and push it a little bit past the first point it gets hard. So that's, that's when it hits the piece of rubber. And then that is just after the piece of rubber. So this is, this is how you fix the sticky slash stiff brake pedal problem uh, for the G920 slash G29. You don't have to take out the piece of rubber. Just do this. It'll be nice and easy. And then you're basically good to go in terms of having your wheel calibrated and everything. And again, if you want to make different profiles on the, the Logitech software, software, feel free to go ahead. And you can always adjust this too. So you can just come back here and change it if you don't like it. And kind of change the way you have everything set up. Hopefully this helped you guys. This is some of the problems I had when I first got started. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Ring the bell so you don't miss a single video. Check out the description for links to my other social media platforms like Twitch where I stream five days a week. Come hang out live. It's a lot of fun. Also make sure to come type a comment. Tell me to catch more fish or whatever you guys want. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one.